I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. Siamese Mahjong is when you play two hands at one time with one opponent. You get a lot of tiles, so it can be a little overwhelming. That's why I like to practice. This exercise is called Random Pulls. We're going to practice identifying the strength of a dealt hand. We might even be able to pick a hand, or at least a category, to focus on. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three random pulls. We'll alternate between player one and player two. So we'll get 28 tiles, then 27, back to 28. Look at this. Look at all these number tiles. We only have one white dragon and one wind. In BAMs, we have two, four, five, seven, eight, nine, pair two, pung four, pair eight. In cracks, we have one, two, four, five, eight, pair one, pair four. In dots, we have three, four, six, seven, eight, pung of fours, and a pung of eights. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I would of course build around the multiples or the most of my multiples. We're not going to be able to use them all, but I would play a 2, 4, 6, 8 and then something consecutive with big numbers. This is how I would do it. I would hold all my 2, 4, 6, 8. We have a pretty good selection of tiles for the 2, 4, 6, 8 hand with pair, pung, pair, or let's see, it would be pair, pung, pair, pung, kong. I would just hold all these. And then sometimes I'll turn tiles upside down for plan B, but I would just hold all 2, 4, 6, 8 until an actual hand looked strong enough to commit. And then down here, I would leverage this multiple. One thing we could do too is keep the west and the white and maybe try to play a quint if we get jokers. So maybe keep those also. The challenge here is going to be the big numbers because we're using an eight here in two, four, six, eight plus a six because we could go with a hand using six through nine, but the eight up here might be needed for that mixed suit hand, second hand from the bottom. One hand I was thinking about maybe trying for is the two, four, six, eight hand, the consecutive hand with eights in the middle, but then we'd be left with two, four and no eight. So we could potentially use the fives and play two, three, four, five instead. So there's a lot of potential with this hand, even with the three, four, five. So let's see if we did, let's say, let's see, four, five, three, four, five. We don't have the right fives for the third, or third hand from the bottom. Three, four, five, four, five, six. We only have one six. I was thinking maybe of the concealed hand. Four, single five, six crack, four, or really it would be four bam, single five bam, six bam, but we don't have the right sixes. So 
and we have no flowers. So this will be a challenge. We do have one, two, gap of a three crack, four, five. So there's a lot of potential, but it's, we've got kind of a gap hand going on here. I think what I would do is just draw and then see where the trend goes. Use this for joker bait and start by discarding those. Odds, and then seven, eight, nine, or maybe a quint. I guess we could put this back down here. This was a challenge. If you would do something differently with these tiles, write it in the comment section below the video. This would be pull one. We have almost news with a pair of beasts, pair of green dragons and a red dragon. In cracks, we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine with a pair of sixes. In bams, we have five, six, nine, pair six. In dots, we have four, five, six, and an eight. We have a flower and a few jokers. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I would play like numbers with sixes and dragons, and then east and west with consecutive run. This is how I would do it. East and west with consecutive run. We could do two, three, four, or maybe three, four, five. So I'd probably keep that for a little bit. Maybe even keep seven, nine. Because if we get an eight crack, we could do the run with east and west with seven, nine. So I would keep every potential consecutive series of three to use with east, west. And this looks pretty good to me. Six with the right dragon, six with the right dragon, and then six dot. That would be the middle like number hand. And we would have four discards with this plan. If you would have done something differently here, write what you would do with these tiles in the comment section below. We have a north, south, and a red dragon. In cracks, we have two, five, seven, nine, pair, seven, and nine. In bams, we have three, four, five, seven, nine, pair, seven, and nine. In dots, we have two, four, six, seven, eight, pair, six. If these were your, oh, flowers, three flowers, three jokers. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I would leverage the multiples, which in this case would be the sevens. We could do maybe a five, seven, nine hand, but we don't have enough fives, I don't think. And we don't have the right nines for the mixed suit options. So I would rather play consecutive with the sevens and then leverage these flowers in another hand maybe something consecutive or like numbers with, let's say, fives.
We have a lot of discards, but look, like numbers with nines and flowers. I think that looks pretty good. And then six, seven, eight. When you play Siamese Mahjong, sometimes you can actually pick hands with these tiles. This is a lot of discards though. So I think what I would do here is come up with a plan B for the weakest hand. And we have one, two, three multiples, one, two, three multiples with a pung in there. We have six, seven, eight, six, seven, five, seven, nine still potential. There's still potential for five, seven, nine. So I think what I would do is hold the fives. That takes us down to eight discards and options for a big odd hand. One thing we could potentially do is just switch up our like numbers. So maybe keep the twos and fours and start by discarding those. So here we would have a big odd option, like number options if we use big odds down here. It's, this would be a lot to juggle, but I think it makes use of the tiles. L lots of flexibility. It would take fancy footwork for sure. If you would do something differently, write what you would do with these tiles in the comment section below with pull three. Whether you are new to the game or new to Siamese Mahjong, or maybe you just got your new card, practice at home with random pulls. It's a great way to get comfortable identifying the strength in a dealt hand and picking a category or maybe even a hand to play. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.